Hey guys, what's up? It's Ella, and I'm back with another Mets video. So, basically, in my past videos, I've mentioned how the Mets, um, uh, went from first place to seven and a half games back in a week, or a month, I don't know, but either way, it wasn't looking good, but then the Mets went on, like, a seven-game winning streak, and then they've given themselves hope, which is good, but it's also really stressful because every single year I just have late in the season, I just have this like hope, like, okay, they have a chance and then they don't and then I'm sad. So, um, but there's a chance the Braves and the Phillies have to underperform and the Mets have to do well. They're four, they're four games back exactly now and they were like eight and a half or something like that back or like eight or something. And, um, so, that's improvement. So, basically, this video is basically what they have to do now to make the postseason. So, basically, throughout the duration of the year, most of our players have been slumping. It's been very hard for any of them besides, like, Brandon Nimbo and Pete Alonso to hit a hot streak. And now, suddenly, when we need them to, all of the players are just suddenly coming on, like, a hot streak. Like, we've got Francisco Lindor, Michael Conforto, Javi Baez, even Jonathan Villar, and then we've got Pete Alonso. We did lose Brandon Nimmo, which is definitely a big blow because Nimmo's been one of the most consistent batters we have all ye we've had all year. He's got a 300 batting average, which is a career high, and it's, 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 it's pretty huge to lose him and we he's already on the injured list and I mean we just gotta hope that it's minor and he'll come back he said he thinks it's minor but I think he'll be out for the entire season but that's just me just because there's not much season left to be played um so basically that's good that they're hot but they need to stay hot and the offense has been pretty insane lately a few games here and there they've been under underperforming but that's way better than every single game which is basically what it was before this stretch, where basically they would have high scoring games randomly, but mostly they'd score less than three runs. So now they're scoring more than three runs, which is definitely a good sign. But we, before we were depending on the pitching and the defense and the offense, which was is what was holding us back. Now it's the complete opposite. Our offense is good, but our pitching and our defense is definitely um not doing it for us like we've had some games where we've like held the other team's offense to a few a few only a few runs but for the most part like Taiwan Walker who had like um a really good ERA before the all-star game like two something I think Alex wasn't it two something what'd you say Walker's ERA is two something going to all-star game right yes sorry fact checking with my brother um, and we had Jacob deGrom, and I don't think he's coming back this season, despite him saying he might, but I really don't think it's going to happen at this point. Uh, Syndergaard could come back, which would definitely be, like, um, helpful. But, I mean, we can't depend on that happening. We need Tyler McGill to be as solid as he was before, and, um, like... I don't know, I feel like, and also our pitching has not gone that deep into games lately. So, um, we need to be able to depend on the pitching and the defense and the offense all together. And with the Mets, I feel like it's never all at once. It's, we always get, like, one. So, um, we also need to have a, another winning streak. It's important. Or at least to win most of our next games because... If we, um, or the Phillies and the Braves have to just play horribly, but that's the chances of that are not likely, and we can't just depend on the other teams underperforming. We have to perform well and make it so that they can't catch up to us instead of just depending on them just falling apart. Um, we have to stay above 500. We're at 500 exactly right now, and we have to go above that. You can't make the postseason if you're under 500. It just, it's not going to work, especially since our division is so close right now. Even though we have one of the worst divisions in baseball right now, you just, you really can't make the postseason if you're um, 
if your winning percentage is under 500. Also, we've struggled in runners in the scoring position for most of the season, um, including yesterday. Lately, we've been much better with that, and we've actually been able to drive in runs. But, and we need to keep that up, because if we can't, we just... Because we get so many people on base, and we just don't score them. Um, we also need our backup players to come through, like, to replace Nimmo and and stuff, which definitely VR and Pilar have been solid lately. Dom's coming back from the bereavement list, which, I mean, it hurts me to call Dom a backup player because I really like Dom, and I feel like he definitely is a starter. But he's got to earn that. He needs to play better than he's been playing because 250 batting average and I think, like, 11 home runs. Um, and he hasn't hit a home run in over a month. Um... So, Dom is pretty important, although we've been playing really well lately and he hasn't been performing as well, even though he has been driving in some clutch runs. So, um, we need our backup players as much as we need our starters because we need to pick each other up. We just need to win games, honestly. We need to just put it together. And it's really good that the offense is hot and stuff and the pitching, the pitching isn't holding us back. But if the the offense can't be amazing every game, and when we're not, we need our pitching to do well. And we, and usually we limit the damage, but I don't know, like Walker and McGill specifically, they were they started off so strong and they're declining a little bit. And I mean, it's a long season, but Walker's ERA went from two to four since the All Star break, which is pretty drastic. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty important. So that's my video. I hope you guys liked it. Side note, I'll probably be ma making videos much less frequently coming up because um school started and last year's school is a pretty, a, whoa, I don't know where English went, but um, school was <laughs> pretty stressful. So um, I didn't have much free time and um, I'm prioritizing school, so I'm going to probably be making less videos, not stopping altogether, though. Not that anyone cares, but just figured I'd let you guys know. So, bye. Hope you like my video.